Hello and welcome to Over the Garden Fence. My name is Helen Willoughby Peck and I'm a University of California Master Gardener. Located here in Mariposa County, California, which is in the central Sierra Nevada foothills. For those of you that aren't familiar with who Master Gardeners are and what they do, we are university trained volunteers that provide research based information to local home gardeners on general horticultural practices, sustainable landscaping, pest management, and in general just trying to help home gardeners solve problems in their garden and answer questions. So what we're going to do today is take a look at some of the problems that can come up when you're growing tomatoes. We're going to do a series of segments, each one identifying a particular problem. And while tomatoes are really pretty easy to grow, uh, they still have their issues. So let's go take a look in the garden and see what we can find. So one of the things I really recommend that you do if you're a vegetable gardener is come out and look around your garden every day. It gives you an opportunity to spot diseases and pests that might just be starting before they become a major problem and it gives you an opportunity to do something about it. So I happened to be out in my garden today looking around and I saw the stem of my tomato plant was chopped off and was starting to uh, the def uh, be defoliated and I knew immediately that I had a tomato hornworm and here he is right here called a tomato hornworm because of this little horn that protrudes off its posterior and it's the larval form of the beautiful five-spotted hawk moth which actually is a beneficial insect also called a sphinx moth uh, as it uh, pollinates flowers and uh, behaves much like a hummingbird and at a distance even looks like a hummingbird um, taking care of your flowers but in its larval form it's a huge pest in the nightshade family which is tomatoes eggplant, peppers, and potatoes, but it seems to have a big affection mostly for tomatoes, and it can completely defoliate your tomato plant in a couple of days if you don't catch it in time. So uh, they're often really hard to find. I was lucky to find this one because their coloring and uh, markings so resemble the leaves of the tomato plant, and um, so usually you have a heck of a time finding them. What I normally do is I look for their frass, which is their little brown poops uh, that can be, depending on the size of the hornworm, anywhere between a sixteenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. And it, it drops down on the leaves and sometimes on the soil. And it's more obvious than the hornworm itself. So if you can follow the trail of the frass up to the hornworm, you're likely to find the hornworm that way. Another really easy way to find hornworms is to get a black light flashlight, which is easily available online and come out at night and flash the light around and the hornworm reflects the light in a much brighter manner than the foliage does and so it's a much easier way to find the hornworm. The best way to get rid of hornworms is to just hand pick them. Um, I don't like to touch them. I think they're squishy and icky and they tend to curl around your fingers in a gross way so I usually take a Kleenex and just pick it off with the Kleenex or with a gloved hand and the best way to get rid of them is to throw them into a, a bucket of water. We actually feed them to our chickens. The chickens love them. And the worst thing you could do is just throw them on the ground because they will really move fast back up into your plants. Another way that you can um, get rid of them is to use something called Bacillus thuringiensis, otherwise known as Bt, which is a naturally occurring bacteria in the soil that uh, destroys the digestive system of any kind of larva or caterpillar, including the beneficials that you want, like butterflies. And so you can just spray that around and it basically starves them to death. And so they'll be gone in a couple of days. It doesn't harm us and it doesn't harm other insects, only larva and caterpillars.